as we stand here in the Japan Pavilion in Epcot, you can see behind me the Japan Pavilion, we have an exciting announcement to make. The thing is, is we have to really temper our excitement because it's a long way away. Eight months. Yeah, eight eight months away. Eight months. But we have booked our flights and hotel for Japan. Uh, the plan right now is Tokyo, Kyoto, a couple days in uh, Tokyo Disneyland. We're going with a bunch of friends, could be as much as 14 total people, <laughs> which is gonna be a logistical nightmare. Kind of, kind of a nightmare, but people will do their own thing. We'll have days apart, days together. People who will come with us to Disneyland in Tokyo, which we can't wait to have yeah, friends. And with. others who don't wanna go, and they'll go do their own thing, and that's fine. That's, that's really that's how it's gonna work. When it started out with maybe like four to six people who were gonna go, then we thought, okay, we can plan all that together. Once it ballooned into, uh, double digits. Yeah. Like, we're and then out. it was like, okay, well, I think we just, <laughs> we're all going to kind of do our own thing and see if we Over cross over. But, um, but yeah, it's going to be a lot of fun. We're really looking forward to it. It's not until the end of September that we leave. So it's a long way away, but we have put plans down. We're having put money down. And so it's mostly assured, you know, barring any unforeseen circumstances. Any new pandemic. So every month or two, we're going to try to do something to get us a little more hyped up about it. Not that we need to be that much more hyped up about it because I'm super hyped right now. But um, so this week, earlier this week, we got together with some friends and we tried a whole bunch of different Japanese Kit Kats because they have a lot of different flavors that are not generally available over here in America. And I'll put that video here. So this is the first of several videos that will come out over the next few months as we get closer to the trip that we're going to do something to get us hyped about it that's going to involve Japan in some way. And the first one is going to be Kit Kats. And there will probably be a second one because now that we're here in the Japanese pavilion, we're going to go see what other flavors of Kit Kats or they have. Or other things in general, maybe perhaps some other candies. Yeah, that we can take back Always with us and do another video. So enjoy this video. Uh, I can't wait to share Japan and uh, Tokyo, Tokyo Disneyland and Tokyo Sea uh -huh. with you. Um, so look forward to that many months from now but we were just very coming. excited it and it's coming. coming and we wanted to let you know and uh i can't wait to take you with us here is the box that we got from lolly and pops in the mall it's a japan crate and when you open it up it's a bunch of different kinds of kit kats let's take them out here are the various flavors they're the ones that we know that we can read there's a chocolate orange we don't know what this brown one is here. Uh, there's white over there. Banana caramel, I'm looking forward to that one. Uh, this one is a cheesecake flavor, and we don't know what that one is either. So Calvin has a website saved so that we can, after we taste these ones that we don't know where they are, or what they are, then he's gonna look them up. And let me introduce you to your taste testers. The All of these people will be coming to Japan with us. Uh, so Josh, everybody knows Josh, yay. And Calvin. Hello. Yep, you've seen Calvin from my other videos. Marshall. Hello. And Chris. And then me, of course. <laughs> so, Chris. which one are we going to try first? What do you guys think? Uh, banana caramel. Banana caramel. Okay, so somebody hand those out. And then we're going to try them. Mm. Don't get much banana. More caramel than banana. I get a little caramel. You're going to say yeah. first impressions? Little caramel, not much banana. Mostly Kit Kat. And then we're gonna rate these. What do we think? Zero out of, or like one out of five, or one out of 10? 10, one out of five, when we have more than five choices. Is <laughs> That's true. <laughs> I'm gonna give that a Marshall, five. Five? Mm -hmm. Give that a five out of 10. Marshall, what do you think? Mm, probably a three. Mm. Three out of 10, okay. Chris, what do you think? I'll split the difference at four. <laughs> four <laughs> and then Josh I had the same I was thinking four as well mm -hmm. so average is out to a four yeah I am gonna give it I was expecting to like it more because ban banana is one of my favorite flavors but there's very little banana taste in it there's a lot more caramel that just really overwhelms it the disappointment and, value drug my number down yeah exactly so I'm probably gonna give it a four. Oh, that's four yeah is it? I just maybe it's just because I was expecting more out of it mm -hmm. Nope, understandable. All right, next one we're going to try is going to be, well, let's just go in this order. White. Everybody grab a white one. All right, we're going to start over here this time with Chris. These are the white ones. That's what they look like. Yeah, white chocolate. There's something extra in there. Mm -hmm. I can't tell what though. I agree. It doesn't just taste like white. 
I think it's better than the banana caramel, though. I agree with that. I'll give that a six. Six from Chris. You give it a five. Five. I will also give it a six. It was pretty good, but not amazing. Josh, Josh is the curve three. <laughs> Josh is not a big fan of white chocolate to begin with, so there you go. he's got a little bit of a opinion, or opinion that is biased, but he tried it. Mm, I like white chocolate, and as far as white chocolate goes, it was pretty good. I'm gonna give it a seven. Mm, I think it might be sea salt. Or I like something. it. Yeah. Like it's got something kind of salty. Yeah, yeah. there's a bit of a salty we'll kind of flavor in it. Up, maybe, I got it all. Yeah, we'll find out more about it. But I like white chocolate, and this is a good example of good white chocolate. So, yeah, seven for me. I don't know if I would just get it on its own. Like, if there was a bunch of these sitting out somewhere, I don't think I would grab the white one. All I'm right. Skip one of the mysteries and get the ones that we have an idea first. And then yeah, let's do all the ones last. that we know what they are, and we'll do the mysteries last. Because then we have to guess what they are. All right, the next one is chocolate yeah. orange. Oh. Starting with Marshall this time. Chocolate I'm, orange. I'm a big fan of chocolate orange, so I'm going to give this an eight. Eight. Eight out of ten. Josh. I'm sitting at a seven out of ten, which is still pretty good for me, so. Yeah. I'm going to go with 7 too. It has a very good orangey flavor, but mm, the it aftertaste is a depth. little off. I kind of agree with that. The aftertaste yeah. is, mm -hmm. now that I've, because I've finished yeah. chewing mine. Exactly. And now I'm like, hmm, it's there's really a little bit of a strange flavor. It lingers a little too long or something. Yeah. I love chocolate oranges, especially like Terry's chocolate oranges on Christmas. And this starts out that way, but yeah, then the aftertaste yeah. is... But this, something with the aftertaste. This has been my favorite so far. Yeah, I'd still give it probably yeah. a 7. Um, I would probably give it about a six. Like, as much as I like chocolate orange, it's not my favorite flavor. And that aftertaste kind of brings it down a little bit. But it still has been my favorite of the ones we've gotten so far. All right, what's the next one that we know? Uh, cheesecake. cheesecake. All right, we're going to check out cheesecake. Everybody likes cheesecake. I don't like cheesecake. Chris doesn't cheesecake. like cheesecake. <laughs> cheesecake is my favorite cake. Mm. But I don't like cheesecake because of the texture, so. Oh, okay. Oh. These will not have a che cheesecake texture. Unless they did something weird. All right, cheesecake. Let's try it out. Okay, I'll start this one. An interesting thing about this, it tastes really good, but it smells like Parmesan Parmesan cheese feet. <laughs> you know what we mean. Yes, you know what I'm talking about. It smells like Parmesan cheese when you smell it, but it actually tastes good, so I think I would give that an eight. That is my favorite so far. Not the smell, but the taste is pretty good. <laughs> Chris. I can't get over the smell. I'm going to give that a three. <laughs> three. I'm just amazed you even gave it a three. <laughs> Uh, it's somewhere in the middle of the road for me, so I'd give it a five. Five? I'm giving it an eight, too. I thought it was pretty good. It, you can te definitely tell it's cheesecake when you chew on it. And I have literally almost no sense of smell, so that didn't bother me at all. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. Josh, what do you think? I'm really mixed on that. Um, <laughs> Josh is famous among our friends for the cheesecake that he makes with his, a, his aunt's, his uh, great aunt's recipe. recipe. Yeah, it's like a 70 year old recipe. And at most, I'm giving it a six. I'm torn if I'm going to give it a five. Hmm, okay. Um, the smell is overpowering, yeah. and I, I kind of fell <clears throat> well with Chris in that category where I'm like, whoa. I ate it. The first piece, I did not like that much at all. The second piece, I felt like I got more flavor to it. That was also after I smelled it, so that's interesting. <laughs> yeah. Um, but it's probably about a six. Okay. So, real mixed on that one. Yeah, that's like a lover. Hey? All right. Last two. We have this one. Okay, the brown mm. one with the that we don't know what the flavor is, but we, we're gonna try to guess it, and <laughs> no, then no, do not call yeah. it that. <laughs> no, we're not calling no. it mystery brown. We're gonna try to guess oh, it. We're all gonna make our guess, and we'll say how, what we feel about it, and then um, we're gonna then we'll do the same thing with these ones here, and then we'll tell you what they oh, are. Oh, I know. It actually smells like white chocolate. Yeah. Does it have a good smell? It's fine. It smells like white chocolate. Better yeah. than the last one. All right, wise. let me open mine so I can test it myself too. Have we tried them? I think it's pretty good, but what do you what do you think the taste is? Creme brulee, maybe. Hmm, creme brulee is a good taste. That's not what I was thinking. And a number. What, what do you oh, rate um, it? Oh, yeah, I'll put that up with eight. It was good. Yeah, wow. I'd eat that again. What do you think, Marsh? Give it about seven. Seven. What do you think it is? Definitely think it's something caramel, like a caramel. Okay. Like, like uh, ice cream or something mm -hmm. like that. Uh, I'm gonna give it. I give it an eight too. I liked it. It wasn't overpowering. It was really tasty. And I, to me, it was like kind of like a graham cracker. Okay, your own cracker. And and there was part of me that was graham cracker. I went into gingerbread. I even went into like waffle cone. Mmm. Because there was something about that to it. 
I am almost entirely indifferent to it, though. <laughs> like, this is like a five. Like, that's that's it. I'm intrigued by it. It has a, I don't know if anyone's mentioned it, <laughs> mouthfeel. Um, <laughs> God, <yeah. laughs> it had a weird texture to it. It gets a little grainy, and that wasn't necessarily bad. It just was not expected. Yeah, and for a so, Kit Kat. Yeah, for a Kit Kat, it's it weird that way. Okay. <laughs> I liked it. I would probably give it about a seven or an eight, and say uh, an eight because I did enjoy it, and I would eat that again. And mm-hmm. I think it's taro, ah. like the purple, um, mm-hmm. the what is it? Purple sweet potato. It's a, yeah. It's a potato. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, that's what I think okay. it is. So we'll look it up in a minute after we try the other one. So we're gonna send one. out the last one. <laughs> we're all gonna try this one and see what we think. I think there's more to this one than any of the others. There are five extras. Oh, it's really interesting. interesting. Start, yeah. All right, Josh, what did you think of this one? When, what, and what do you think it is? It might be something as simple as dark chocolate. It might be something more than that. Um, if I eat dark chocolate normally, I get sort of a feeling of like cherries to it anyway, which might be weird because that's something I always add with some dark chocolate. Um, I rather like it. It's not that complex. It does have a little bit of a gritty texture. This is up near my favorite set, Chili's. This is a seven or an eight. It is definitely dark chocolate. I'm not a huge dark chocolate fan, but this isn't overpowering yeah. like a lot of dark chocolates. Yeah. So I like it better than I normally would. <clears throat> I would actually try this again. Mm-hmm. Uh, but I am going to put it like a six because, like I said, it's just not my favorite, but it's still it's better. Not your thing. Yeah. Arch. I really like dark chocolate. It's one of my favorites, but... Uh... I get some sort of like a, a nutty flavor with the mm. like like okay. an almond or something like that, mm-hmm. and so that's actually bringing it down for me. So I'd say probably a four. Okay. Yeah, you see that down? I'm sitting going. I taste that. I uh, don't. Yeah, like they said, definitely dark chocolate. I'm getting almost a coffee. I'm wondering if it's like espresso oh, beans, maybe. Oh, that would explain it. Yeah. That's not a bad call either. No, I'm but that's, but yeah, uh, that's. It's definitely good. I'd probably give it a seven. Yeah, I like it. I mean, I do like dark chocolate. Um, I do like it. I agree with you that there's sort of this coffee-ish taste to it. Yeah. So I think, I mean, it's it's got to be dark chocolate no matter what. Oh, but what hard. else is in there? Because yeah. I agree, there's almost like an almondy Some flavor too. Flavor to it. Um, I like it. What would I give it though? I don't know if I'd get that very often. I didn't like, I like it, but I don't like it as much as I did say, you know, the, uh, Cheesecake. the one, the other one that we don't know the answer to, which I really oh. like that one. So while Calvin is looking these up, uh, what was everybody's favorite? If you were going to go and get another bag of this right now, which one would you get? I'd probably get the one we don't know yet. <clears throat> uh, I would like to say the orange one, but that aftertaste kind of kills it. The orange one for sure. The orange one? Probably cheesecake. Probably the cheesecake. The, yeah, the that unknown. one. Yeah. The unknown Easily one. Easily my favorite. Um, yeah, I think it's this unknown one that I would probably do. I really enjoyed the flavor of that, even though I have no it idea what it is. A lot of different things. Yeah, <laughs> well, you know, <laughs> flavors cool. are very different, and very this cool. is just we were hoping for more flavors, yeah, but you know, there's only so six. many you can get in America but easily enough. Six isn't bad. No, six isn't too bad. So when we actually go to Japan. We're looking forward to seeing all of the different walls of flavors that they have there so we can each try different ones that we can't have here. So Calvin is going to look up I got them. these okay. ones. Okay, so, we so two, let's see how well we did. So real quick first, um, banana caramel, that's what it is. Chocolate orange, that's what it is. Cheesecake, that's what it is. White. Now the white is actually white chocolate and... Chris got it. Sea salt. Oh, oh yeah. Nice. It, he was right. It, there was a bit of a salty there taste was, to yeah. it. You said it, like, it was great. Yeah. A pronounced salty taste. Like, all yeah. chocolate is a little bit salty, yeah. but Definitely more salty. it was very pronounced. Now, for the ones that are actually mystery, this one is a wheat biscuit. Oh. Wheat biscuit. Oh, yeah. okay. Or the, um, the, uh, mm-hmm. And it's a, like, I'm, <laughs> like a sweet biscuit, obviously. Explain but, yeah. It has a different texture. Yes. Mm-hmm. Totally. Yeah. yeah. That was pretty good. And then this one is dark chocolate and I might mess up pronunciation, Otona no Amasa. And I had to look that up. And what better than I ever could have said it. That was great. I think. What it says that is, um, uh, this pack of yummy wafers is made with finely crushed black biscuits layered between chocolate wafers. Okay. So. It's a... Some kind of black biscuit. biscuit in, yeah, yeah. yeah. black biscuit. Snack, that, ate a biscuit. Yeah, maybe that's why we couldn't figure out the taste because <laughs> yeah. it may be something that we've never ever tried before. Yeah, it looks like there is both 
um, a black, dark chocolate and a milk chocolate version of this one with oh. that black biscuit crushed. I in would it. have preferred the dark. Though. Yeah, at first we weren't sure if the because if you look at these, they all have some writing on them. But when we used to translate on them, to see, originally we tried to translate them using like Google Translate to see what it might be. But I think it's just sayings. Right, it's not the way that like Taco labels. Bell sauce packets yeah. have sayings on them. But I think these are more like encouraging sayings <laughs> on them. So. We weren't sure, but you yeah. You can do it. There's encouraging yeah. things about uh, Taco Bell. <laughs> it's encouraging you to go. So, mm -hmm. on a scale of 1 to 10, how excited are you about going to Japan? <laughs> Chris? 13. 10. 10. 10. I said 13. 13, yeah. <laughs> it's probably a 9 because it's not the top place I want to go to, but it's damn near close, so it's probably a 9. Yeah, for me, it's probably around a 13 also. I'm really <laughs> excited about going there. And uh, I know we all are. It's it's hard because it's still like eight months away. Yeah, but eight months away. But we're gonna do you know things like this every so often so that we can get ourselves type up about it. But so thank you for joining us on our taste testing of the Japanese Kit Kat flavors that we had access to. Now, if we find some others, we'll do some more videos later.